Just two days ahead of the world famous Pebble Beach Concours, Lotus has unveiled this, the Avora GTE road car concept. Now this is essentially a street legal version of the race car that Lotus races at 24 Hours of Le Mans. So this car itself is sort of a look at what a possible street car version of that race car could be uh, with a lot of carbon fiber. It's sort of their answer to the Porsche GT3 RS or the Lamborghini Superleggera. Along with a significantly more aggressive front on this vehicle and a pretty sizable rear wing, they've also used the Evora GTE race car's full body, and that includes some really large fenders. It actually gains anywhere from two to three inches on each side in the rear. The front's flared as well, so it really gives a much more aggressive look to this sports car power for this car comes from the same engine found in the Avora S model. Although that car makes 345 horsepower and this makes 420 horsepower. Uh, it's a 3.5 liter supercharged V6, although they've actually rebuilt all the internals uh, very much like the race car. On top of all that, extra performance comes from a complete carbon fiber transformation on this vehicle. They've actually managed to shed anywhere between 200 and 300 pounds off the car altogether. That carbon fiber transformation also comes to the interior of the vehicle. As you can see, everything is coated in that dark black weave. It's everywhere. There's no carpets on this floor at all. If you thought regular Lotuses were bare bones, uh, this is a whole other level. Really gives you a race car feel in here. On top of all that, uh, it is a sequential gearbox with some great paddle shifters, which we would love to try out on a race car. And what isn't covered in carbon fiber is either coated in leather or Alcantara. There's Alcantara all up the sides here, along the roof in this beautiful stitching. And these might just be the grippiest seats I've ever sat in. While just a concept for now, Lotus is very serious about bringing at least something like this to market in the near future. Uh, we just had a chat with Lotus PR boss Kevin Smith, and he tells us that this could arrive as early as next year.